And now, for a taste of things to come. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to the journey of life. And as you can see, I'm doing, processing a little bit of copper right now. I uh, decided to be a little energetic and do a little bit of mining, and by a little, I mean a couple of in-game days waiting for stuff to respawn, and going to the cave and going get, get all the copper that I could. And since everything's like down to one hit, it's pretty uh, pretty simple. And that's that cave over there. I did a little bit exploring too. There's actually another cave over here I want to check out one day. I Sort of went in there, ventured to see how he gets any more copper because this stuff wasn't respawning. And there is a cave. Uh, I have no idea if there's going to be anything in these caves, but uh, they're definitely there. And as you can see, I have a lot of copper right now. Uh, one of the things I actually want to do today is I want to fix this roof up here because I didn't really like how it turned out. Oh, table's in the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three off the end there on both ends and replace it with slopes. And that way, hopefully, it looks a little bit better. Uh, I also want to get into thread working today. Uh, I was looking at, at uh, some of the things we can get. I uh, moved the crafting bench over here too because it's in front of the stairs. Uh, but I want to take this section out, these three here, replace this, these two with corners, put another slope here, and sort of cap off the end so it looks a little bit better. Uh, let me grab some supplies and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, just basic scaffolding. Uh, I was looking at the furniture too. I want to start placing some furniture downstairs for storage, like maybe get a few more shelves and get some other stuff for decoration. Um, I'm just going to put some fence around that staircase too, just so I don't fall down it. Uh, speaking of staircase, uh, we're going to go with my uh, scaffold in here. Uh, nope. Aha, it was mouse wheel. Alright, uh, let's see here. I don't have to be right up against it. I'm just trying to get a good placement for it right here. Should be good on that one. And over there. And then I can get out of there, use my hammer just to... Use my hammer, not my fist. Just to fill it in so I have something to stand on so I can get everything. Uh, as far as I know, the, the the sections shouldn't come down. But I'll probably just do one at a time. I'll probably have to make some nails too. That's why I went and get the, got the copper. Because I know I'm going to have to build another section at least. So, if I go to deconstruct here, uh, or destroy, I should be able to take it out, but unfortunately I can't see the health, so I have to wait until it all comes down, I have to actually go and pick up the materials. It doesn't show it, but it definitely does do its thing. And there it goes, and there goes my parts. So I have to do this in all three sections, unfortunately the walls have that bit, it's a wall section these three wall sections, I have to go all three levels. So it's going to take me a bit, and I'll bring you back when I've got this all taken down. I just realized something. I don't actually have to go through all, th all three stages. This is something I was wondering about when I replaced the foundations outside the front door. Now, when you upgrade it and you deconstruct, you only get back that one particular tier. So anything else that you've done, like uh, the clay one and then to the stone, or to the planks and then to the stone, if you deconstruct at the stone level, you don't get the planks or the branches and clay back. So, that is a thing. Uh, I'm going to do it this way. I think I have to take the walls out first before I take the pillars out or something. I don't know. But I'm going to take the walls out first and then the pillars and then the roof and so on. And, yeah, I had to build this. Apparently, at the top of the stairs, I wasn't actually reaching the wall. Anyway. Okay, I got the last of the roof down and the, or the last of this one side down. And I'll just show you what I've got going on. Uh, as you can see, the tell the as you can see, the sun's going down. Uh, so this is what I got. I took the pillars out last, and what I'm going to do? Uh, I also crafted some more uh, nails, or casted more nails. Okay, I go to roofs, and then what I want to do is I want to do a, a corner, like so. One there, one there. I think that's going funny because I'm sort of off the edge. So when I try to turn, it's trying to center like this. But if I go on the inside, it goes this way. And then we go back to a slope. Uh, this one should be good. Oh, let's go over here. Come on, where are you? Oh, this is in the way. Let's try this first. Uh... 
construct this. This will go down awfully quick. I think that's what it is. I just can't have a ceiling here. Alright, let's try that again. I got a roof. Slope. There we go. Uh, yeah. And that should be everything. So let's hammer this in, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Here I am hammering away, trying to figure out why is this not filling up, and I took this out, and put it back in, and all this stuff, and it wasn't working, and I realized, oh yeah, uh, I need dry grass. You can sort of see it down the bottom left here. I forgot about that. Okay, I am finally done. Uh, took a little while, I'm not going to lie, it's uh, not exactly the fastest thing in the world building in this game, I was, that's why I was hoping I'd try to get to that bronze hammer to get to go on a little bit better, but it looks okay out here, or in there. Looks a little better out here. Let's uh, go downstairs and have a look from the outside. Sun should be coming up to this side now. Oh, a little laggy there. Yeah, I like that better. A little better than what it was before. So now, uh, what we're going to do is I'll clean up those stairs later, see if there's any supplies or anything that I left laying around. Grab some rocks. And... Yeah, believe it or not, the only thing I was really worried about was those nails. I was thinking too about possibly having a loft up here, like almost having a ceiling tile going around the underside of the roof and then leaving the two in the middle open with maybe a ladder or something around. I don't know if we even have ladders. I don't know if we actually have that in the game yet. Just the staircases. Alright, well, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, like I said, I'll clean that up later when I decide what I want to do. Uh, what I do want to do, actually, is move on to some other stuff here. I'll get into these other stations. Um, you know, like I said, there used to be a sawmill. I don't know what's going on with that. I know we have a lathe now, but we'll figure out what that's going to take when we get to it. But I want to check out the... Uh, what is it here? The fiber breaker and the thread worker so I think the fiber breaker is the first thing we need well technically we'll need all three so let's go with the fiber breaker and uh, I'll probably put all this stuff uh, hmm you can always move it later too in fact what I'll do uh, let me get some stuff out of the way and I'll bring another bench up here okay fortunately I actually had two of these benches so I could do that so that's the what was this the thread breaker or the fiber breaker. Uh, next one we're going to need is going to be the thread worker. And this, I think, takes the. This breaks the plant fibers down into. plants down into fibers. Like, I don't know what kind of leaves they are. I think that's going to be those. Uh, those. Those ones I can't pronounce. Not the ones that we make the bed out of, but something else. And then go back to here, and then it was going to be the loom. Now, we all know what a loom does. And we'll do that for now. Now I can also move everything around when the time comes, so we'll worry about that later. Okay, there's that. There is this. That's cool. I hope they have good animations too, and that is the loom. And then with all of them, let's uh, get the hammer out of the way. We're gonna be... Well, the loom's backwards. Everything else seems to be okay. Okay, that's what these little things are for, is about like upgrading and recipes and stuff like that. And I think the loom's backwards, maybe not. Okay, so now the question is what do I... Oh, there we go, hit E on it. So there we go, I can turn, I can turn loose flax out of flax fibers. Then what's over here, is this actually going to do anything for me? No. And I think it's because I don't actually have anything on me. So, let's actually get, get some flax. Where is it? Uh, some over here. I'll be civil and take the stairs. I really should put a right wing on here too, because I'll be jumping off that <laughs> far too many times. Alright, so I know I got flax over... It was over this hill here. Somewhere. Got a whole field of it right here. Really? An accident takes this long to cut down a, a flower. 
I need better tools. And there we go. Now, where is it? What is the actual thing? Oh, that was it. Okay. So, then it's two for whatever. So, let me gather up some. It's going to be getting dark. So, I'll gather some up and then I'm going to have my final sleep on my nice pile of possibly rotting leaves. And I'll see you in the morning. Okay, there's a lot of flax there. And I wish I cleaned up my inventory. But, anyways, I do actually have enough and uh, we still have some daylight. So, maybe I'll get a good night's sleep tonight instead of tomorrow. We'll find out. So far, it's just, just a figment of my imagination. A good night's sleep, that is. Alright, so we go here and... I should queue up a whole bunch of this. I don't think we need it for anything else, so I'll queue up the rest of it. And then while I was doing that, uh, let's actually see if... Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to probably pop it right off. So now, can I actually do anything with this now? Or do I need to do something else with it? Hmm. That's a good question. Is it something I do in here? Hmm. Let's have a look at this. I might actually look at this off camera and try to figure this out. Uh, I think that's for making bread, flour, or whatever. Hmm. I'll have to look into this. Give me one moment. Okay, I may be wrong, but I'm going to go on a hunch here. I have a feeling the millstone might be what I need. I think I might have to loosen up the fibers or something before I can process it. Alright. Fortunately, I have the supplies on me, except for the logs. Uh... I'll be right back. Okay, I got the logs I need. So let's finish this up and see if this is actually what I need. This could be just the flower. I have no idea, but it seems about right. Did I not pick up those logs? I cut down a couple of trees and I didn't get all the logs, apparently. Nope, they're there. I missed them. Probably couldn't fit them in a backpack for some reason. I can kind of figure I have a lot of space in there, right? Oh. Couldn't hit the button again. Couldn't find the button again. Okay. Uh, definitely need some sort of light, and I hope they add something like candles or something like that into it. And, uh, there we go. So now... Uh, hmm. Again, it's not showing me anything. Yeah, that's apparently not it. Hmm. <gasps> I saw that. Oh. Aha. And that makes paper. Nope, man. It makes flax thread. Ah, I gotcha. Oh, let's get... Go pick all this up, and that's what I gotta do. I gotta drag it all on there. It's so much easier just to shift click off the ground like that and grab the stuff. I can't. So, if I do this. Nope, not that. Or that. Uh. Hmm. I am missing something here. Let me figure it out. Okay, I actually figured it out. I had to look on Steam, and apparently a developer actually helped somebody else figure this out. You actually just hold E, and eventually it starts going. It's slow, but it's working. Uh, animations are kind of bugged at the moment, but that is fine. There's some thread there. Uh, there was a mention of the loom not working, so I don't know how this is going to work. In fact, what I'm going to do is I actually want to move this. 
See if we can move it around. Uh, I do it the hard way. A very slow method of using the mouse wheel. And I'm definitely going to say it's quite impressive that I, a single person can pick those stone slabs up. Those are not light. And it's doing this because I just placed it here. So I do that and I pick it up and move it back. And do it again because I meant to rotate it. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's uh, kind of bugged that it doesn't want to place it back in the same spot because it's still technically there, even though you don't see it. And I'm rambling, and I was actually looking in the bench to try a vertical connector for the windmill to see if maybe it needed wind power. That's why the threads were like that, but that wasn't the case. So let's get this up and going again. And I kind of figured it would have had... Uh, um, foot pedal on it. And kind of funny how I made this out of wood planks and only wood planks. Don't know how many is going to be left. I think I had five on here. Oh, never mind. It's actually empty. I got eight thread and no inventory space. Isn't that always the case? Uh, hmm. Hang on, let me deal with this. Okay, a little more reasonable. So I should be able to pick up the thread now. I got three of them out of there. Uh, I, thought, I don't know how many to put on there, but let's see what happens here. Uh, guess it doesn't want me to do anything with this, unless this is, uh, this is for something else. Or I do that. Is that actually working? Or do I need that much cloth? Oh god. Alright, I got some work to do. Okay, I'm doing the last two that I have, which gives me, I think, a total of 20, because I think I cut down 20, because that was all the inventory space I had. And I was thinking about, I kind of like how they have this sort of interaction thing where you actually have to go up to it instead of accessing the menu to operate the the station for instance that you just go up to it and you just use and it just starts spinning so that is kind of good this one I don't know about how this is going to work uh, first let's see how much thread it needs so that is uh, not going there uh, let's see I placed it right down here last time okay that's actually not going to work oh yeah wrong button uh, from what I hear though that it is, this is possibly bugged that maybe it's not working not 100% sure. Oh, it is working. Just don't see it. Okay, so right now it's just... You can sort of see where the, pro the progress bar was. I guess I was just holding it here and it started working, but apparently there's no animation for it. Unless I'm hallucinating. No, it is moving. Good. We're making cloth. We're going to be sleeping in a bed tonight. Maybe. Depends on what other hurdle we come across. Well, that is almost done. Do I actually have to go right on to the, where it says loom? Oh! I just saw something pop off. Ah! Cloth. Alright. I got a bed to fix. In fact, I'm gonna bring it up. Hmm, where do I want my bed? Let's leave it down here. Alright. Two cloth. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well. It actually goes pretty quick. It's, what is it, one thread per cloth? Yeah, because I had two on there. See if it's actually doing anything. Yeah, it is. So it doesn't take long to make the cloth. Uh, of course, the next step is going to be leather working. Uh, we might have time for it. i got to see where I'm at with the video. Uh, leather working shouldn't take too long, except for the fact that we got to get leather, which means we got to go and deal with a bore situation. And... There it is. Okay, pick that up. Now let's go make my bed. And make mom happy, right? And... I should have the nails on me still. 
Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. Climactic. I was actually expecting stuff with a mattress and stuff like that. Can I upgrade this even further? No, I can't. I can upgrade the floor, though. Uh, that sucks. That means I have to actually dismantle this thing and rebuild it all over again just to get the wood floor back. That kind of sucks. Uh, let me do that. Okay, I was just going to tell you, I think we've got a little bit of time to do a couple more things. Uh, we're not going to get into the leather today because I want to look at possibly getting like a bow and arrow or something like that to deal with the the warthogs, right? You know, this range combat is always a little more safer. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to look at uh, the press and also the sewing machine. Because we've got thread, so we should be able to use a sewing machine. I needed ingots, and I got an ingot in here. And I just need one of them, so we'll split that, put that in here. Uh, definitely got to get into some storage, and I'll probably end up doing that in the next episode. Uh, between now and the next episode, let's build some shelves, put all these boxes away, and try to get some sort of organization going. Okay, so, um, I uh, thought I was on the floor there, so the next step is going to be the, the sewing machine. Uh, I got planks on me, and I got an ingot, or a sewing table. And then we can get a little sweatshop going on here. Now, I'm going to take a guess that this thing is placing this backwards like it has been placing everything else. I could be wrong, though. Alright. And don't ask me how you turn a, a copper ingot into a sewing uh, to a to a sewing machine. Uh, oh, did I need two copper ingots? Am I not reading properly? It says one. Did I not grab it? Is that what I? Is that was that my error? Did I leave it in the box with everything else? Nope. I lost a copper ingot. Oh well. Good thing it respawns every two days. Alright, so let me fix my mouse and see what we have here. Hmm. Actually, what we do we do this. No, that does not work. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Come on. I know it goes on here somewhere. Am I backwards? Is that what's going on? Maybe a guy, but I don't know how a sewing machine works. Hang on, I'll figure this out. Let's try a piece of cloth. See if that helps. Hmm. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And. Ah. Well, I have clothes, but we'll do this just to check it out. See what it does. That was quick, kind of glitched out, but I have a shirt that I'm already already wearing. Cool. Alright, so that's a sewing machine. Now the next thing was going to be the press, and that's going to be to make paper so I can make a map. See if we can actually see how the map works. I'd like to get into do, doing some exploring soon. I know there is iron in the game. I don't know where the iron is. Let's actually put the press over here. Okay, and I should... I should have enough for this. Apparently not. Alright, I gotta go make some more nails. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And that is not my hammer. I'm not gonna do a lot with my fists. Not in this game, anyways. Alright, so now the question is what goes actually goes in here? Uh, I don't have any of the fibers anymore. The flax fibers. I think maybe that's what goes in here. Or the, the broken fibers. Which, again, I don't actually have. But the sun is going down, which means I'm going to actually sleep in a, a bed for the first time. I'm going to have to get rid of that thing for sure. I'm still sleeping on the floor. What is this? That animation. I don't, know, don't even know what that is. 
Yeah, did I mention this game is really access? Okay, so let's get off the bed, and... Oh yeah, I was gonna get some more flags, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, after a little bit of exploration and experimentation, uh, it has occurred to me that no, I cannot make paper with it. Uh, turns out there's a GUI on it, I wasn't actually paying attention to it like I was like to do with everything. Uh, but if I go in here, it actually says I need 10 wood chips for paper. And uh, if you were to actually ask me about this, and I think that's where we uh, where we need to get into the lathe, which I think we'll end up doing next episode anyways. Uh, just because, uh, go ahead and make the get the map, and I think the lathe should be able to, should be replaced in the sawmill. So we should be able to make planes with it, maybe? I don't know. But that's going to be wind power, and looking at it, it's just planks and fiber rope, so don't have to worry about looking for bamboo. And we should be good there. So, yeah, we're going to call this one here. I uh, finally got around to get into the thread working. I got myself a bed made properly, and fixed up the roof a little bit. What's going on out there? I don't know. I'm going to have to get somebody in here to do some dusting one day. And I think next time I do a project like this, I'm going to hire contractors. Yeah, it's just too much work. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.